space, time, life itself. Forty years after two radio astronomers first heard a faint whisper from our own cosmic birth, David Spergel now has his baby picture of the universe. Despite the vibrant colors visible in the WMAP image, it only describes a minuscule variation in temperature across the universe. When we look at the WMAP map, what we're seeing are tiny variations in the temperature of the universe from place to place. Variations that are one part in 10,000, one part in 100,000. So I think of the universe we look at with the WMAP satellite as not being chaotic, but being very ordered, homogeneous, and smooth. But if time and space started in a cataclysmic explosion of energy, wouldn't the universe be uneven and messy in all directions? Not exactly, so I can't start this, not exactly, can I? <laughs> For Dr. Alan Guth, what happened during this early moment in time was an intriguing mystery that had to be solved. Figuring this out became his life's work. There had been in cosmology a serious problem in understanding the uniformity of the universe. It has the same intensity in every direction that we look uh, to one part in 100,000. And that means that the Big Bang was unbelievably uniform. And that's hard to understand because conventional explosions just don't behave that way. We've set up a balloon that's going to be dropped from a very high height up there on a crane. The balloon is filled with paint, and we'll get to see what kind of a splat a typical explosion makes. So this is what a typical explosion might look like. And as you can see, it's anything but uniform. There are spots here and spots there and white spots in between. The early universe was nothing like what's on the canvas here. Alan needed something that would immediately smooth out all the hot, dense plasma that had just come into existence. I came across this idea of inflation, the idea that gravity can, under some circumstances, act repulsively uh, and produce a gigantic acceleration in the expansion of the universe, and that this could have happened in the very early universe. The key idea behind inflation is the possibility that at least a small patch of the early universe contained this peculiar kind of repulsive gravity material, and all you need is a tiny patch of that, and the Big Bang starts due to this repulsive gravity effect. Cosmic inflation takes place right after a pop from nothing into something. About one trillion trillion trillionth of a second afterwards, the force field takes all the highly compressed space created in that first singular moment, which is still almost infinitely small, and drives it out. A tiny fraction of a second later, the universe has doubled in size 100,000 times. A different kind of painting illustrates this idea. We're going to paint in time-lapse photography a growing sphere. Instead of getting the splop that we had when we just dropped the balloon, here we should see a very smooth growth of an early universe. With this smooth and orderly expansion, our universe was formed. This idea of inflation has now essentially become the standard version of cosmology. It makes a number of predictions which have been confirmed, so it agrees very well with what we see. With the addition of inflation, the Big Bang Theory became a cohesive three-act play. Act one. A singularity pops into existence out of nowhere and no when, containing in one single dot all the energy that will ever be in our universe. Act two, inflation suddenly takes hold. An unimaginably rapid expansion of space smoothly spreading out that energy, bringing order to the universe. It's now a massive soup of evenly expanding plasma. Act three, the universe cools. Matter starts to clump together under the force of gravity, eventually forming stars, galaxies and planets. For most cosmologists, this three-act play is the best explanation for what happened at the beginning of the universe. 